Hello, everyone, and welcome to Shutter Snacks. We are a video podcast about all things weddings. Today, we're going to be talking about the guys getting ready. The guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's always, always a fun room to be in to go do those guys getting ready. Um, one thing that is often misunderstood is they they think they have to be ready. And, and we're there to take formal photos of them. And that's not what this is about <laughs> at all. Getting ready time is about not being ready. In fact, <laughs> it's yeah. getting ready. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, you know, I'm going to start explaining it like that to people. That's funny. Yeah. Are there some of the, the most fun images of the day? You know, with the guys getting ready, we do really prefer, or not prefer, but like we're looking for those organic moments and the getting ready shots. I do let the groom know that I like to get the details of him getting dressed. And so he might be the only person who really needs to, for my photos, or in my opinion, um, put yeah. on his shirt and work on the cufflinks, work on the, the tying of the tie and the necktie. Yeah. Especially if there's a first look, because the other guys really don't need to be ready. It's not like the girls and they're helping her put her dress on. Yep. And another thing too, is oftentimes I see guys on their phones or their iPads, looking up YouTube videos on how to tie a tie. Oh, we'll sure. With a great a sense of urgency too. Sometimes they're rushed and yeah, they're like, Oh my God, I don't know how to tie a tie or a bow tie or how to fold the po pocket square. They never do correctly. I don't <sighs> want to take a lesson on how to do a pocket square. Well, I, I mean, Particularly on your wedding day, do you want to do should... it then? Do you want to do it on your wedding day? Do you want to come in and stop golfing and watch? No, I'm videos saying I YouTube? don't want to have to do the pocket square. Oh, which no. I do. I do half the time, and I don't even know what I'm honestly doing. I'm a photographer. I'm not a. I'm not Joseph Abood. Not yet. No. <laughs> it is, and with pocket yeah. squares, especially you can get those folded exactly or, or um, crinkled or whatever you want to do with them exactly how you want. And just the shove them before, in your pocket. Put them in the pocket. It's done. Jacket back on the hanger in the closet. You're ready to go. Yeah. Or guys, you know what? Tell your um, bride to be to fold them the way she oh, wants them. Oh my gosh. Kim. Beforehand. Good every idea. single one of them. Every single one of them. Have you ever thought of that before now? No, no. <laughs> In so that, however, she wants them yeah. to look. Yes, let's definitely, obviously, pin them, or pin steam. them, yeah, so pin I them together it. the way you want, either in a triangle or a, a squared off top. And um, I bet there's a million different ways to fold a pocket square and like an amazing origami shape. And if that you want be really more, interesting, if you want more information on this, just click on our masterclass on. Definitely. Yes. We will learn how to fold pocket squares into beautiful organic. If we had shape. a masterclass, we don't. Not yet. <laughs> Soon. It's coming. Um, do your YouTube video first about how to tie the tie in the pocket squares. Make sure somebody is in there to put your boutonnieres on. That That's always a problem. Most of the time, they don't know what to do with those boutonnieres. There's nobody in there to put them on. You know, and you kind of want Truly. the photo of your mom putting Truly. them on or whatever. I am always the expert on boutonnieres every then, single time. Yeah, and but you, mm, you know, you and I usually end up doing it. I always show, do a demonstration for everyone and then make them finish and, and do it on, apply the rest to each other so I can get a photograph. But, um, right. And I, I have done, um, boutonnieres many, many times, put them on. I'm not even that good at putting boutonnieres on. Oh, really? Um, not really. So if you can. There are magnetic boutonnieres and all you do is put the magnet on the other side and pop it on. Oh my God. They're so much easier. If your florist can do that, I highly recommend that. Mm, mm -hmm. um, if, but either way, you do need a designated person in there. Like the groom's mother, the groom's um, sister, somebody needs to be built into that timeline to be in there to put those on because the, the it very rarely does the florist stay to put those boutonnieres on? But some of the florists do. <clears throat> they really? actually, it's part of their wow. service. 
Ooh, that's a really important and good part of the service. And yeah. honestly, it really ensures that their product is fairly and accurately represented because true, it's a lot of work to create each one of those little still life pieces of art and pieces of art. I have definitely seen them misapplied for sure. And, you know, t- flowers are delicate, you know. I've also seen, I'm sure you've seen this too, because this happens a lot groomsmen who try on their suits and they don't fit like the jacket's way too small or way right too big. really weird like, hello um, what's did they, did they get it confused with another groomsman right the other that, that happens a lot okay and yeah one's is really weird that does happen a lot and so my advice to them would definitely be the same as what it is for all of the girls if at all possible try that on in the shop when you go and pick it up. Yeah. Take it I think that's where the mix up without usually trying is. it on. Right. They tried on the correct suit, obviously, but they're not, they're not getting the, or they're, they don't have enough suits I've- or who knows <laughs> a giant weight fluctuate fluctuation, whatever the reason it doesn't fit on wedding day. So, but you do pick it up shortly before wedding day. So try it on and in the shop. And if there's a problem, you'll have the professionals right there with you. Yeah. To uh, solve it. I want to make sure if, if you have a card or a gift from your fiance, make sure we're there. If there's two shooters, you won't have any problem. If there's only one shooter, make sure that photographer's there because those are really nice photos. Even though I've spoken at length to my couple, um, on the excitement of the day, they forget and it, they are opened before I um, have yeah. a chance to be there and capture that true organic moment. Another thing, gifts for the groomsmen. Those are fun to photograph. Oh, I really like it when they do that. Um, That is a fun, it's both a fun moment. And, you know, the guys usually do a good job of putting a package together that looks really nice. Or maybe their partner does. I don't know. (laughs) I guess it depends. (laughs) Probably the bride. They look really nice. The ones I'm thinking about and remembering, you know. Right. Another thing I see a lot and just makes me cry if I didn't realize it on the day of is wallets and phones in your pockets. Mm, Good point. (laughs) It's such a tragedy. If the groom has that on during first look. Yeah. Yeah. Tragedy. Square thing outlining the pocket. It it misshapes your body and it's so obvious. (laughs) Let's be real. (laughs) We know which part of the body I'm talking about. The other thing is a lot of times the guys will do a toast. Um, it's nice to have really nice, um, what do you call glasses where they put whiskey in? What are those? I think Old they're builders, whiskey, rockers. Whiskey glasses. Uh, uh, rocks glasses? Mm. Tumblers? Yes, tumblers. Yep. Are they cut tumblers for sure? Yes. Oh my gosh. And people who drink whiskey, man. Wait, I want to say that over again. Okay. No, that's funny. We like that one. Oh, okay. That's I won't cute. cut that part out. You won't let me. No, I like it. All right, tumblers. We think it's called tumblers, but have really nice glasses of whiskey or whatever. A lot of times we get underneath and do that cool shot. It does not look good with plastic cups. Oh, seriously. Yes. Think about your glassware, whether you're in the girls getting ready or the guys. Think about chilling. Oh my gosh. Another thing to prepare for the days in the days before mm-hmm. chill your drinks that need want you, you want to have chilled. Oof, let me do that. Over oh, again. and uh, okay. Chill your glasses. Oh, I'm not going to let you. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm stutter. <laughs> um, yeah. Get those drinks chilled the night before so that you're not <sighs> thinking yeah. about whether you want to open a warm bottle of champagne or not. <laughs> you don't. And then oh, <laughs> in one thing, I mean, gosh, I don't know if I want to say this, but I'm going to be really careful of how much you drink in during the great getting ready. Um, if you're going to drink, oh, we understand day, that. Kim, be, think about it. You have the whole day. And I've seen groomsmen and grooms by the reception. Like they have to go home. They have to go lay down. Yes. Um, you know, the shots are shots. Right. They are shots. Oh my gosh. Yes. Be careful. Just be really careful. We under- totally understand um, and if you drink a lot, then that's, you'll be fine. If, you, if you're not used to it, it's, it can be, it just sneaks right up on you. Right. You know, it's a celebratory time and 
if other people are drinking, they're handing you drinks and I'm drinking right now. So I don't know. used to it, it's dangerous. Also, yeah. you know, a lot of people are understandably nervous on their wedding days. And so, and some, sometimes people normally take anti-anxiety medication and sometimes they don't normally take it, but know that they're like when they fly or something they do. So they take it on their wedding day, which is totally fine, but, uh, don't combine it with drinks. Not if you're not oh. used to it, do what you're used to live your normal life on your wedding day. As far as drugs and alcohol are concerned, because if you're not accustomed to it, who drugs mm-hmm. and alcohol can really make you forget what happened. Oh my God, do I have stories? Unfortunately, and I have stories. Your special day. One poor bride. Oh my God. It was a, she was taking anti-anxiety medication and her, and her bridesmaids were kept giving her drinks. They didn't know. I don't think no, they knew. No, and, because while you're doing like in the girls getting ready area or the guys getting ready area, it's not a problem yet. Mm. Don't know. Yeah. It was, it was pretty sad. And she, no, like she couldn't even walk down the aisle. It was not a Catholic wedding and we had to put chairs <laughs> up at the altar. Um, it was in a church too. It was a formal wedding and everybody was staring at her. It was awful, oh. awful. And so a, a few days later, she wrote to me and she said, I am so sorry. I don't, she said she doesn't usually even drink. Exactly. Right. And so she was so embarrassed. And I wrote back and I said, Oh God, I didn't even notice, which was a total lie. I didn't notice. I did not notice. <laughs> was I'm the, taking a picture of you that. sitting in a chair and I didn't notice. Thank you so much for watching us today here on Shutter Snacks. We deeply appreciate your time and attention. We have spent years studying weddings from beginning to end. And it's so exciting to share this information with you. We really appreciate all of your comments. Find links to our websites in the show notes. We read every single one of your comments and really try to respond. You're so val- them. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> I'm glad you know what I mean. Okay. Um, We're so on top of our game. We answer all the comments. (laughs) All of them. Thank you to all of our viewers for watching. It's so gratifying to know that you're out there and that we're helping you prepare for one of the most important days of your life thus far. So thank you so much. Uh, Please uh, click the links below to find more information about us. Subscribe below. Mm -hmm. Click here. more to come more to come bye guys don't drink too much <laughs> like 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 it like that